the issue that I will be raising is in relation to spiritual warfare and people's relationship with Jesus. I noticed very much so that people lacked the gift of the Holy Spirit and people lacked the, in, the whole entire intimate relationship with Jesus as a whole. Um, it was really prevalent to me in a few scenarios um, going to the Lord Toka Market especially in the older generation, speaking to the women there. You know, we prayed for them and, you know, asked if they knew Jesus and they said they knew Jesus, but you could just tell that they didn't have that that spirit and that fire and that hunger that we all do and that one that you should have, like Paul and, like, Peter and John and Luke and all the, all the um, disciples did. They, the Fijians... 60% are Christian, however, majority of the Christians are Methodists. And I think most of the, the elder generations have really brought that down to the younger generations, most of them. But a big percentage of the younger generation, the ones that we met, were really hungry for that relationship with Jesus, for the Holy Spirit, and to know him more, and to walk with him, and to, you know, pray for people, and like what we did um, at the markets and down the streets, you know, it might not seem like a small issue, but at the end of the day, this, A, the lack of relationship, intimate relationship with Jesus, and B, the spiritual warfare, this all brings down every other negative thing that can impact a nation, such as the politics, such as the, the education system, such as the churches, such as the, you know, for example, in Suva, we weren't allowed to mention God, we weren't allowed to mention Jesus or the Holy Spirit in any of the schools because of the education minister is Muslim. And he wants to integrate a lot of um, Muslim ways into the schools. And this, I got told that from um, one of the pastors when we were over in Fiji. And that, you know, it didn't stop us, praise God, from going in. But we couldn't specifically share the word of God. You know, if someone came up to us and asked for prayer, we would pray for them. If someone said, you know, are you a Christian? We would say yes, but we couldn't say we couldn't you know share there was no freedom of speech there it was very controlled but this all comes from the spiritual warfare that's happening above um and to me it was just it was so thick the spiritual warfare and it just made me realize that you know it says in ephesians we don't fight a battle of flesh and blood but of the spirit of the evil in the heavenly realms and people you know, we we brought such a powerful deliverance to Fiji with our night rallies in Suva, in Latoka, in Lombasa, even walking down the streets, even going into unis and schools that the devil will so try. And it says in Mark uh, 14, Mark 14, I think, or 15, 45 to 43, 43 to 45, you know, it says we'll cast out the devil, but the, those, those spirits will try and seek shelter somewhere else and sometimes you know it's uh, Richard Ng said um in his book um waging spiritual warfare that the enemy will try and come back and bring back the bad habits the attitudes the emotions everything that the holy spirit drove out but that's you know it's it's up to the people of Fiji it's up to us to keep going back and educating them but it's up to the people of Fiji to continue to walk in that deliverance and to live with Jesus and to walk with Jesus and to and for the older generation to listen I guess to the younger generation you know the, some of the people that I came across were so hungry for God like when we went to the um, South Pacific University one night it was a really big day and it was just it was a praise God it was just a spare of the moment thing and a few of us went from Team 8 and some people from, I think, Team 6. And there was such a powerful move of God. Like, we were meant to be there. We were meant to be there. And these these kids, these, you know, people in their teens, people in their 20s who are at uni and are going through what they want to do in life, they just, a lot of them just surrendered to Jesus. I think for the first time, many of them again. But they were so hungry and it starts with them empowering generation to win a generation 
you know, not only are the younger generation going to empower the generation below them, but they're going to empower the generation above them. And a lot of the kids look up and still look up to the older people, to the elderly. Um, you know, I saw that in the, the um, church that we went to in, in um, Latoka on the Sunday. And it was the church where, um, I believe, Fiji stuff became into fruition. Um, the Christian Fellowship Renewal Church. I've got it on my wall somewhere. I don't know. Um, but, you know, the pastor there, the main pastor, he was all the, all the kids, you know, all the kids my age, 22, all the younger kids were all looking up to him and they have so much influence. And, you know, if the little churches like this can go around and implement things even into schools if they can or, you know, empower their kids in the church to go and speak to kids at school, then this wave, this revival is just going to continue to keep keep on happening. And, you know, it's just, it's crazy how just that, that we're fighting a battle of the spirit and how so much negativity can come from, you know, the spirits above. And if they don't, if they're not, if they're not, what I noticed with the spiritual warfare, with the Holy Spirit was, you know, if you don't have the Holy Spirit and you haven't been baptized with the Holy Spirit, how are you going to know to guard yourself? I mean, yes, you can say the prayer, you know, the armor of God, hallelujah, praise God. But the Spirit is what communicates to you, is what, is what helps you, is what guides you, is what comforts you. And I think when a whole nation can be baptized in the Holy Spirit, wow, that will be just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal, there will be continual veils, walls breaking down, crumbling down, the devil will have no place to hide except the ground, um, and yeah, I just really feel that, like here at Planet Shakers, you know, younger generations, you know, boom, I think the church in Fiji, they need to develop places for young people to go. Also, that's something I found very prevalent in Fiji, that these young people are so hungry for God, but, you know, they go to church with their parents on the weekend, but they don't have anywhere to really hang out. All the kids alone, all the teenagers and the young kids alone, um, you know, to share the word of God and to inspire one another and... I think that's why Boom's so powerful here is because all the kids, it's for the kids, the teens, the lost to get together and to have encounters with God and to share the word of God. And I think if that was replicated over in Fiji with some of the small churches, then there'd be so much more of a move, even though there is now, but there'd be so much more of a a move with the younger generation to stand up and to share the word and for the word to spread throughout Fiji. I think that would be a very positive thing that the small churches around could do um and even you know in schools just have programs like we did even though we didn't share about Jesus just empowering the kids and knowing that they are valued and just educating them and just because a lot of them come from rough backgrounds let me tell you wow you know some of the 10 year olds were suffering with depression and you know suffered from living in a family with alcoholics and they need solace they need to find a place where they can all get together and praise God and be with Jesus and encounter God and then they can go out and share the gospel so I think the lack the being baptized in the spirit needs to be addressed starting from the churches and spreading out needs to be addressed. The kids getting together, the teens and the young kids getting together, educating the elder people. Um, and just walking with, continually walking with Jesus. I think there a lot of things, it's a big umbrella, but the main issue is the spiritual warfare because all of that comes from the spiritual warfare. All the negativity all comes from the spiritual warfare. Um, so, yeah, that's my presentation. Awesome.